This is the Easy Fry and Grill XXL. So here's a T-Fowl air fry grill I'm upgrading from the microwave combi oven. Some of you may have already seen the Panasonic combination oven. This is a microwave at 1000 watts and then we've got the quartz grill at 1300 watts and the convention oven which is just over 2000 watts. So the air fryer is going to be using slightly less power so let's talk about that. Now, don't forget to take off all the stuff that came with it. Now I've taken out <coughs> some of the bits that were with it. There was one piece I had left there. The smaller version of this uses 1500 watts. The one with the, the glass display. And then there's a smaller one of this that's either silver or, this light, or exactly like this that uses 1300 watts. So it goes up. So this one is 18. So it's still under the 2000. Potentially I'll just save um, time and space. Now it comes with some instructions and also two safety instructions almost. This is safety instructions and so is this. And they both have basically got a lot the same. Um, and basically there's loads of do nots. It's like it's where there's do's, it says do and follow these instructions for use and keep them safe. Remove all packaging and materials and promotional labels, stickers from the appliance before use. So I've got to take that one off still. So these are the do nots. So do not use it with an extension lead. Do not let it get tangled. And, and there's, there's kind of loads of things. They're generally pretty common sense. Nothing else in there. In there you've got the grill, so that's where it heats up and the air then pushes over that and that's how it heats up. This is the T-Fowl XL, comes with the grill, so you push it in this side and then at the front you push it down on those rubbers and it grips it. It might be to go both ways, I'll have to try that. And then you've got the divider, which splits it up. And this device will actually let you do air in each one. And then we get how to use it, which is what I'm gonna potentially show you how. But you see so you've got the grill, when there's a grill button, we'll get it powered up, yeah? So I've just plugged it in. And what we got, got a start and stop. Set the touch screen. And that pops, temperature adjustment, air fry, grill, and then we got some presets, which I like. Now the thing is, I'm gonna take this label off. We don't want that sticking or doing anything silly while uh, heating it up. And Now, most of the time with uh, new, new appliances that have metal parts. This has also got non-stick coatings on the inside and also the grill. Now that's awful isn't it? Look at that, all that sticky stuff left. They could these, at least put decent stickers on couldn't they? Look, you peel off and there's no issue. When using this product for the first time, it may release a non-toxic odor. This will not affect the use and will disappear rapidly. For your safety, the appliance conforms with standards and stuff, food environment standards. How to clean it, just use a damp cloth and stuff, so you can do that now, use a damp cloth. I've got another little booklet here which shows, you know, kind of things, don't leave it out in the wet or outside, you know, you know, a bit about chips and how to prepare stuff first. It's all picture guides, there's, there's no writing with it, so it may not be the clearest thing or something for anyone, 
but it still doesn't say that you know to turn it on for five minutes or ten minutes before using to get rid of these odors now this is actually plastic but the inside is tin now usually you're supposed to preheat these a couple of times just to get rid of any chemicals we could turn it on now is there something quick so I'm going to put air fry and I'm going to put well 200 degrees that is the it goes up to 220 this one where the others go up to 200 and then what I wanted to do was select the time so I want to put it on say just for five minutes Taking a lot of tapping to get that down to five minutes. Well, I've got five. And now I want to press start. I'm hoping it's not going to stop it. Right, on it goes. Okay, it's reached the time. A little audible uh, signal, just like you would get on a microwave. Now, yes, yeah, it's, it's a little bit warm. It's cold and there is hot air coming out of the back okay um, otherwise I like that little audible alarm it's good a little bit quiet it wasn't much of a bleep it wasn't as loud as my uh, microwave and the other thing there was a bit of smell so I'm hoping this doing this will help clear it a bit don't touch anything it's obviously hot and I want to mention one other thing about this some people in the reviews have said these are very noisy. That is quieter than my microwave. I've got no problems with the noise of that at all. It's quiet. Get advice, tips and tricks on the latest technology, gadget devices, news and reviews. Get technical support on the latest technology, gadget devices, computer laptops, 4K smart televisions, home entertainment solutions.